and dump it out into your hand and take this one and dump it back into the jar. So I have a jar that I can open easily, I can reach in and get my bud and I can close the lid again. And so when I get my weed, I dump it into that jar and that's where it lives. So that's why it's always in that uh, same light container. I just make my own custom labels with a post-it note and a Sharpie. So I know what I'm smoking because I'll forget in a heartbeat. Uh, someone earlier was talking about and how they were looking at the, you know, they look at the terpene count and they look at the amount of um, THC and all that when they're thinking about which weed they're going to buy. And I never do that. I look at how much does it cost, how much do I get, and what is the THC rated at. <laughs> I go for the highest and the lowest with the most amount available. <laughs> I often get there and they'll hold it up and they'll say, oh, you know, quarter of Cushman's? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't remember what I ordered. I just, I ordered whatever I clicked on it. I, I don't remember the name because it doesn't matter to me anymore. Exactly, standard. Uh, I was loving my weed to death, that's for sure. Because not only was I over fertilizing the soil like that, I was giving it food and adding calcium and mixing, you know, I just, I over messed with it to death and I just killed the shit out of it. I did for a year and a half uh, before I finally started doing less of everything. And I got all the way down to, I'm doing nothing other than putting water in it and I'm still seeing it burn up from nutrient burn. The only, the only thing left had to be the soil. Change that around uh, and solve the problem. So if I'd have done that a year ago, I'd have been so much better off right now. Oh well, live and learn. Yeah, I was going to say, what plants do they not like, Bob? Oh, that sucks, Gabriel. Um, the indica or sativa thing, I talk about this a lot and I get controversy every time I do it. I always have people disagreeing with me, telling me I'm wrong, so whatever. If I think I'm wrong, that's fine. Um, but indica or sativa does not indicate whether it is um, a, a weed that's going to make you feel drowsy or, or sedate versus one that's more heavy. Uh, sort of uplifting kind of experience. Uh, indica simply derives from like the Indian continent. There's, there's all kinds of plants out there that have indica behind their name. Uh, and there's also kind of plants out there that have japonica behind their name because they come from Japan and surrounding areas. Um, and sativa is simply means that it's been cultivated. So um, marijuana or, or cannabis indica is weed that just its roots sort of originated in the Indian continent, and that weed tends to grow denser, it's more squat, the leaves are broader and thicker, the buds are more compact, the whole thing just more stout. Um, the, the indica that was grown and cultivated, that was usually cultivated for hemp and whatnot, is much longer and leggier, it's got more open air and space, the buds are more airy and light, fluffy, uh, but, but the quality of the buds is irrelevant to what you know and it's it's literally just the growing style is what those two terms represent it's got nothing to do with what you're going to feel when you smoke it so if you're asking me if i prefer the more uplifting hay that most people associate with the sativa that is what i prefer uh, by and large uh, every now and again i don't mind that real sedate sort of you know slow me down kind of weed or whatever i have some metal in uh, but I use that almost as a mentally medicinal when I need to put the brakes on uh, a little bit or something like that. I like to have some of that around. But mostly I like the, um, you know, just fully cerebral, very awake, alert. I like to be creative and thoughtful. And um, so I guess that answers your question. From the standard 
you know, indica sativa, then sativa is probably the answer you're looking for. But in reality, it's got nothing to do with anything. Now, my actual preference is usually a cross between the two uh, because I grow it. And that really comes into play when you're talking about how much space you have, how big the plants need to get, how much bud you're going to get off of them. Uh, sativa needs a lot of room to grow because it's real branchy and leggy. The, the buds are going to be much more loose and less dense. So you're, you know, if you're a connoisseur and you really like that plant, then it's worth taking up that much space for a relatively small amount of weed. Uh, if you're a cash cropper and you want to make money, uh, which I don't, I don't sell it. Um, but if you're looking to maximize your output, then you do an indica because you get a lot of weed in this really small space. Uh, that's where it really comes into play is if you're a grower. As far as the smoking, it, the, the indica sativa thing just really doesn't matter for the, the quality of the buzz. All right, everybody, let the cake flow because I know somebody's going to disagree with me there. Well, I don't know when people started doing the uh, Sensimilia. I still want to get the Christmas moss. I have a Nubius, and I will agree, nothing really seems to eat the Anubius. Um, my Java fern gets nibbled on by my silver dollars, but not a lot else. Uh, my Rotella doesn't really get nibbled on too either, I don't think. I can see I got some red Rotella right here. Um, but again, I don't know how long people have been growing Sensimilia. Sensimilia, it, it, it simply translates to sans seeds or without seeds. Uh, so that's just a matter of how you grow it. That's how I grow it. You just keep the males placed, you know, if you see a male plant, you destroy it. And then as long as the female never gets pollinated, 